Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Mona. How's it going? We are going to do an impromptu real quick. This is not going to be a long stream, but it will be, um, we'll be here for a few minutes anyway. It will not be a, um, a long stream. Just a short little impromptu. So, hi Rain. Good deal. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Hope everybody is, is having a good Wednesday. I need to empty my pencil sharpener real quick like. It's not cooperating. Sorry if you're shaking. Sorry if you shook a little bit. Whew. All right. Hi, Audrey. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. I hope you're wearing green so nobody pinches you. Of course, they should not be close enough to pinch you anyway. But just in case, just in case, I was doing something completely different and I've got stuff all over my desk. I'll show you what I was working on for the mail ran. I was working on uh, this little froggy here. So hopefully um, we will see. So anyway, um, so yeah, hey Annette. Hey, Wilson! Hope that I'm trying to uh, get everything situated. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. Hi, Ruthie. Um... So yeah, these were gifted to the channel by Kenny and she wanted me to test them out. So that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, I will not be on long, but I will be on for a, um, a few minutes to um, just do a little testing, testing. So, so yeah, so thank you Kenny for that and let's get started so the tin is nice cute pretty like it it's pretty tin when you open it up um, you have inside you have the color names and um, color names numbers all that in the lid okay this is a 48 set then you have, there is a slight smell to them. The bottom layer smells pretty rough. Um, the top layer, not so much. But the bottom layer has a distinct smell to it. I don't know if airing them out might help or not. But anyway, bottom layer stinks. Top layer, not so much. Um, they are uh, four millimeter, it says, and um, so yeah, let's look at a darker color. So this is what they look like. Um, it does say that the lead is a four millimeter. I haven't sharpened them. I haven't done anything with them yet. So um, they have painting, coloring, painting colored pencil then the number and then the name and then you turn it over and it says made in China so if that bothers you be aware that it does say made in China on it in big bold letters for everybody to see and it says expert and then it also has the number um, it has a different number so this number 
is different than this number. So let's see what the difference is. This number is the color number. So this one is magenta. And I guess this is just, let's see if that number is the same on all of them. Yes. So I guess that's just the model number for this particular set of pencils. So there you go. Um, we, I, ha I did not swatch them or anything like that. Like I said, they just came in. I wanted to do this so that we could get it, get it going. So let me move some things out of the way. Let's just take a tray out. That'd be better. So let's just take a tray out. Ugh. Yeah. The bottom tray really does smell. So, okay. So I'm just going to swatch a few. Um, let's sharpen, I don't, I guess let's sharpen a couple. Let's sharpen this a red. Like I said, I really don't know what the colors are because they're not on the pencil themselves, but they are in the lid. So I probably won't be able to sharpen much because they are already long. So we'll sharpen a red one. We'll sharpen an orange one. Hey, Connie. Um. Sharpen an orange one, maybe a yellow one. Um, he's at work. He's at work. A yellow one, um, and let's see, a green one maybe, and then a blue one. That should be enough for me to tell what to do. These are, um, I looked them up, they are $17 US for... Um, um, oh, I, uh, um, I, from what I understand, they've been compared to a whole bind, they've been compared to a deli, so, um, we'll see what happens. So, let's just do a little swatchy little bit, and they do leave a little crumbly bit, a little bit. Hi, Katrina. Um, they are a, they seem a little waxy. They are, um, they are kind of, um, um, this one is broken. <laughs> so, there's that. Um. But they do, I can see a um, residue. I'm going to do delis too. I'll do the delis and then I'll do um, whole binds as well. Was that one going to break? Maybe not. They are, um, we'll leave that there. They, um, I mean, they're pretty, they've got some, you know, they're kind of a, a vibrant color. So let's. Let's do the delis first. And we will do, I don't know, I'm just going to pick yellows because I really don't know uh, which ones would match. There's a yellow. Um, let's see. Maybe this orange or, yeah, that'll be good. Um, we need a red. Uh, maybe this for a red. Um, let's see. Maybe a blue. Let's do that blue. I don't know. And a green. Let's just do this green. Like I said, I don't know. I'm just picking them. Picking random. Okay, so let's make a mark. And these are... 
the Mark Arts. And these will be the deli. Now, right away I can tell you that these are the same barrel size. The deli and these have the same barrel. Now, I do believe, I'm not sure about the lid, but the barrel is the exact same size. To my eye, exact same size. Okay. Uh, oops. So, we'll move those out of the way for a moment. Uh, then we will do the deli. Right away, the delis um, appear to be smoother, and they are not as crumbly. So far, I've only done one color. They are, I haven't seen any um, big chunks. Of course, you get a little bit, but um, the deli are, I don't know, that should have got a darker yellow. Hi, Angela. Um and the green and a blue I'm really not sure the price point on the delis because it's uh, there's a um, controversy or whatever the delis are the are the, the mark arts all too or are they wax? Okay, and then we'll do the whole binds. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, they feel they felt it, but I wasn't sure because, I mean, Holbein's feel that way too to me. So, Okay, let's see. Let's get a red Holbein and an orange Holbein and a yellow. Yellow. Uh, let's just do canary yellow. I don't know. A green Let's do, did I not have any green sharpened? That's too dark. Let's do, um, uh -huh. let's do this malachite. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let me look. Yeah, I forgot, and, um, yeah, I did. Professional, high quality oil pencils. You are right. I'm pretty sure I just made a mess because I forgot that. That's how they came anyway. Uh, but we should fix them. Just ignore that. Yes, oil pencils. It says oil. Hey, we should probably do the water test too. Okay, now I need a blue. Hey, Bev. If I missed you, my head's down looking for pencils. I apologize. Let's do a royal blue. Ooh, let's do Prussian blue just because it's sharpened. Okay. All right, so they've also been compared to the Holbein's. Now, I can go ahead and tell you that the Holbein barrel is bigger. Um, it is, I don't know if you can see that, but the Holbein barrel is bigger than the, um, let's do, uh, what is this? Let's do the orange, orange and orange. The Holbein is on the left, and it is a bigger barrel and of course, that's not in focus because of the camera, but it is a bigger barrel than the Mark Arts. Okay. So these are going to be the whole lines. All right. So we're going to do red. And we're going to do, I got pencil. I got. Oh, that's a pencil mark from my other pencil. And we're going to do orange. And we're going to do yellow. And we're going to 
do green. And this one has a little bit of the, um, from the pencil sharpener because I just sharpened it. And then the blue. So, there you go. Now, let's see if I can see. any kind of anything all right so as far as filling goes they are they're all slick the whole binds still feel um, better in my hand because they're a bigger barrel um, so now what do you want me to do what do you want me to do now I wish Kenny was here because she's the one that wanted to see this. Okay. We're going to take our, tell me what you need me, what, what else you um, would like me to do before I take my, now high bubbles, they are a, out. you know, they're $17 for 48 pencils. Um, hi, Sarah. Of course, um, they're not the whole binds, but uh, I'm about to color with them instead of the ones we're supposed to be reviewing. <laughs> but now let's see if we can get them color with them. Let's do us a blue flower. So let's just do two colors. And then I'll do the water over them and see. So. Now the Holbeins, my hands love the Holbeins. They love the square pencils. They love the, um, they love the bigger pencils. So we're just going to do... this I think I'm in focus now I do say that they do have um, the pigment they have quite a you know I'm not sure how they would like how many layers you could do but they do have um, Yes, they will, they are fine for, you know, it's just hard comparing them to, but they, they are, they are leaving a, um, a lot of dust, for lack of a better word. Um, but no, I mean, they, they would, um, they're the Mark Arts, you know, they, you know, if you're looking for a bud budget pencil, then sure. If you already have some of the others, you know, then maybe not. Um, well. I don't know. Do you need anything else besides coloring stuff with your stimulus? I'm buying a mattress. <laughs> so, so um, yeah. I don't know. I'm not, uh, I don't know your situation, so. I'm not, uh, they do have quite a bit more. Now, um, yeah. Hey, I need one of those too for the other house. Maybe I'll get one of those. Um, now I'm going to compare that with, with, um, the delis and, and I'm, and I'm just testing right now 
testing the dust, like the dust of them. And I don't know if you can even tell what I'm doing. Can you tell what I'm doing? Do you want me to zoom in a little? Let me, let me lower the camera a little. No, it's going to be out of focus for a minute until I refocus it. So just hold tight a minute. Nobody freak out. It'll stop shaking long enough. Give it just a minute. Just a minute. All right. So now we should be okay. All right. So now I'm just going to take the delis and we're going to do some down here and just see the difference. And like these are not the exact same colors, so you'll just have to, um, you know, whatever. I'm just testing out dust <laughs> so we can see. Um, the difference so far there's really been um, hardly any at all like over there there's one little spot right there of a little piece which would bother a lot of people. The crumbling part would bother a lot of people. So, you know, you just... And like I said, this is my little testy book, so whatever whenever I test things out this is what I use so I'm sorry about the truck going down the road okay so I'm gonna have to do four just because that's the other has four so awesome bubbles you will be happy So, yes. Oh, I have no idea. If I missed you coming in, hi. I'm uh, digging through pencils. So, hey, hey. If I missed you. All right, now we're going to do the whole binds, okay? And the angels sang. Okay, sorry. Um, let's do a light. I don't even know. Maybe this blue. Ooh, maybe this blue because it's sharpened. I'm like, I don't want to sharpen all my pencils. Okay. So this is, um, we're going to do, we're going to turn you around. Yeah, that's what I have to do too, Bubbles. <laughs> So do it real quick. Do it real quick. All right. So we're going to do. This one. And just see. The difference. Like I said. The colors aren't exact. So you really can't. Go off of that. You 
know what I'm saying. Hey, cat. I didn't see you pop in. Ignore Finley because he thinks he's king of the world and needs to go back out again just to turn right back around and come right back inside. And Riker chewed a hole in my couch a while ago. So for all of y'all concerned about my sweet little less of an ear puppy, he is perfectly fine and chewing holes into my couch. So... These two, I picked out more comparable colors than what I did with the whole binds. But I didn't want to sharpen another pencil. So, anyway. So there you go. There's the three, three different. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, he would still chew on the couch. He's a brat. He's got, he's got all kinds of chew things. Okay, so now what? What do you need to know now? Any questions? Any comments? Anything that you would uh, need me to answer for you about these pencils? It's a secret. Oh, yeah, 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 order test. I forgot. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that. So let's close this. Bring this back. And. I don't know. I didn't do them together. But hold on. I do that. I'm trying to find my water pencil real quick. Like, I just had it. I was using it on my frog. All right. Well, we already know about these two, so let's do that one. Let's do the new one. That's a lot of water. Sorry. It uh, moves a little bit, not a lot of bit. Nothing... Uh, the green did not move at all. So I think we're safe there. Red moves a little. Red moves a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah. Blue and red moved a little bit. Okay. All right, let me show you this one. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You are probably right. So this is yellow. Make sure I got the wrong. This one feels a little hard compared to some of the others. I don't know. I think. They do have a, as you see, a build up. As you see, it's just, um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's like 
peeling the color off underneath. It's, um, I won't say that it's kind of quite waxy because they're not wax pencils, but there is slight build up. Now, if I can get a darker green. That bottom, ugh. that bottom layer of pencils is ripe. And then this is a, I needed another color to go in it. Yeah, you can feel it pulling, like you can feel, I don't know that's the correct terminology or not, but you can feel it pulling. And see what I would do is I go over everything with it, whatever my lightest color is. So I would do that. You can feel it dragging, like where it's, um, is that the, I don't even know. Is that the right, you know what I'm talking about? Like you can feel it dragging across, like it's not going smooth across. Like it's where it's just stopping. Once you get too many layers. And then it's just, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the extra? Um, I'll do that. Hold on. I'll take the daily in layer two. But can you see where it's coming, the things coming off? Um, these are the delis. I need, what did I do? One, two, three, three. One, two, three. Is that what I used? Three? Yeah. So I need a dark green. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, resistance. It's giving me resistance. We don't like the resistance. So we're going to have a yellow. And we're going to have a green. Get off. Get off. Go. Going to have a green. And then we're going to have another green. which isn't dark enough. So, we're going to throw another green. Another green. And then we're going to layer people. I mean, there's resistance here too, but it's not anything like, of course I did more layers over there, so it looks more blended, but it's nothing like, um, like it's nothing, whoops. <laughs> I went too far up, sorry. And I still see color. Like I can still, like down here, I can still get darker color. But yeah, like with these, you know, they're smooth, whatever, too. But 
there's I feel like there's more um, this is smoother feeling than this hi Louise like this one feels smoother than this one feels But as far as barrel goes, they're the exact same size. And the whole binds are bigger. So, yas, yas. What is this? That's this. What is this? You belong over here. So now what did you want me to do? What else was you want me to do? What else would you want me to do? What else would you want me to do? Do 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 Um Do 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 Um Well Probably Probably, I'm going to do just this fur green. Uh, the thing is, you're going to get resistance with anything when you're layering, especially on this cardstock. Um... But I felt more resistance here than I have in any of these others. But, you know, a budget pencil, sure, they're nice. I'm sure, um, you know, it's another pencil that I can use in summer nights. I mean, you can do, but you know, you can do amazing things with all kinds of pencils. So it's not like you can't do. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. If you have whole binds, don't get them. If you have delis, don't get them. You know, I mean, well, there, there's 48 pencils for $17. So if you want a budget friendly pencil, then by all means, have at it. Link is in the description. <laughs> if you uh, don't, then don't you know I don't know yeah they're not they're a nice budget they're you know a nice budget friendly pencil I I'm not gonna say that I mean you can't compare whole bonds have 150 colors you know um, and some of these colors are comparable color wise to the whole binds um, but Whole binds are 150. These are 48. Um, the barrels are not the same. Um, so I try not to mix them up with the delis. Because these barrels are bigger than those. Like you can tell. Yes, I love the whole binds. I love them. But you can tell that these are bigger. So yeah. Here I am. Here I am. So yeah. So I don't know if you have any more questions or comments or whatever. Thank you, Kenny, for um, gifting them. And 
I hope that you um, watch the playback if you're not lurking. So, yeah. Anything else? Yes. Yes, Sammy, you are very missed by us all. Life is busy, busy. We did have one break, <laughs> but the rest of them did not, so that was that was good. I can tell that they do have a smell because it has gotten into my throat. So there's that to look to to think about. Um just just so you know. Um that you have that to consider. Um, here's one of the trays. And here's another of the trays. That's the bottom tray. Of course, I sharpened that pencil, so. And there's the bottom tray, and I will move you back up. So maybe you can see a little better. It'll stop shaking in a moment. So yeah, if you want budget, you know, if you want some budget pencils, there you go. I still recommend the Cry Arts. Even though I love the cry arts, even though they are a, you know, as we have determined, a watercolor pencil. I, um, I definitely, um, I recommend the cry arts as a budget friendly pencil. There's 120 colors in it. But yes, these do, um, these do, um, have a smell. I will, I will say. Not as bad as the Chroma Flow, but I don't think anything could be as bad as the Chroma Flow. Uh, unpopular opinion, but I'm used to having those. Yes. So, anywho, I'm going to put these pencils up real quick, like, and then we will um, bid you adieu until tomorrow. Fine. And I'm missing some blues. They should must be over here. I don't put them up now. I would like to put them up now, so I'm just going to take the time to put them up now. How about that? Hopefully y'all are good with that. Y'all are all giving Sammy the love, so y'all can just do that for a moment. Yeah. Or, um, there was another tin that kind of looked like it, but yeah, I saw, I, I thought that too. So, yeah, I thought that exact same thing when I saw it. And, uh, like I said, it, now I do have bad allergies, so I'll be the first to say that, you know, maybe I'm a little nose sensitive more so than others, but, um, there's definitely a smell, um, so if you are nose sensitive, just know that if you're going to purchase them. Um, but yeah, if you want a budget friendly pencil, then by all means, go for it. Um, I'm not sure if these are where these go, but they're going. Yes, yeah. I don't know. Um I mean they have they have nice yeah, they have nice there are nice colors for sure in here. Um but you know, just depends on what you want. If you can, save up and get the whole lines. Get them from Japan. <laughs> if you can't, then um, you want a bud another budget friendly pencil then this is an option for you but 
like I said, I um, I didn't swatch these, but I um, I do have the cry arts swatched, and I can show those really quick because they are a great um, they are a great budget friendly. Now you just have to know that they are um, they are water soluble, even though they're oil, but they are a nice a nice pencil and I like them a lot. I did get a hate comment about it. <laughs> um, about my comparison of the cry arts, I did get a hate comment, but whatever. I just referred them to my other video, which is where I found out that they were water soluble too. So anyway, okay. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what we will be doing. I haven't decided. Maybe Fairy Touch of Magic. I don't know. So, I know. Always. <laughs> I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Oh, it does not bother me at all. So, anyway. That's me for today. I'm going to go uh, watch the radar and see if we have any more um, storms headed our way, which I'm afraid we do. And, uh... Other than that, thank you guys so much for hanging out, and I will see you in the morning, and we will uh, color something. Not sure what, but we'll color something. So, until then, be kind to one another, make someone smile, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.